Hey y'all, welcome to Netta Ine TV. Y'all was just eating chocolate, so if you see that my teeth don't mind me. But y'all, I came on here because I wanted to talk about my subacnoid, subacnoid, I always say it wrong, hemorrhage. It's a brain hemorrhage. And I found out I had it around this time last year. I started having some crazy symptoms and I was all on Google trying to figure out what happened, what went wrong. I didn't know, I just felt like I was, my brain was going haywire. I just could not figure it out. Y'all, so uh, it's about to be a year and I just left my doctor's appointment because I have been having some more symptoms again. And I like to monitor things. Y'all should monitor things. If you ever have something going on, always monitor it because it's better to be ahead of the game than what not ahead of the game. So anyways, I was at work and I was working at the airport and I just remember everything looking like it was closing in on me. Like I was in some kind of scary movie. I was like, what is going on? So I told my coworkers, I'm like, I gotta go sit down. And they just kind of had an attitude like, oh, well, we're, you know, right now, are you sick? Can you wait a little? I'm like, no, I seriously gotta sit down. I started feeling dizzy, y'all. And it was no reason for me to feel like that. I had just been eating healthy. I was seeing a personal trainer and everything. So I couldn't understand what was going on. So then y'all know at the airport, I forget what it's called, but it's not an escalator, but you stand on it with your luggage and it just keep going straight. So I was on that and I just felt like, like I was passing out, but I was still standing up, but my body was passing out. Then I would just be standing up. Like I was go to stand by the, um, the escalator or no, the, I can't, y'all that's the thing is sometimes it's hard to get like like you get little brain parts okay you get the elevator and so i'm standing by the elevator y'all and it just felt like the floor was just moving up and down but i wasn't even on the elevator yet but i just felt everything moving up and down i'm like what is going on so y'all that freaked me out so i started getting getting bad anxiety and everything so y'all the way out the airport was so hard on this day because you know you got to get on the train then i had to get on the shuttle to get to my car and I'm going through all of this. I probably should have went to the emergency room, but I was like, bro, I ain't got time for that. So y'all, I finally get home and I just, everything just changed. My world just changed. Like heavy depression started coming, y'all. Like I couldn't even sit down and stare at something. Like I just had to be asleep. I just wanted to sleep. I didn't, like me sitting down trying to watch a movie, I felt like everything was coming in and closing up to me. Like that, that was some scary stuff that I felt like. It was like severe depression. And I never felt that before. I never felt any, I was like, what is this? Like, what is this? Y'all, then I was like dizzy, like, and everything. Like, I just started seeing like a whole bunch of little dots all over the place. And I just couldn't figure out what was going on. I would try to explain it to people. And they're like, girl, you know, you got four kids. You probably just tired, girl. Or, you know, girl, you know, you just started working out heavy. So you probably just tired. And I'm like, nah, I know something ain't right I know something ain't right like all of this stuff like neuro neurological is just my brain is going haywire and I just it was so scary y'all like oh my god so anyways I was like let me just go ahead and make an appointment because I'm looking on Google it's coming up with all kind of stuff like oh you have this you have like all this different kind of stuff and I'm like because neuro neurology neurological issues are seen in a lot of disorders and so I'm just like, okay, do I have, you know, I was scaring myself, I was all on Google. So I was like, let me just go ahead and make an appointment. Y'all, so made an appointment, went, no, actually I went to the hospital first. They did a CT scan and everything. They was like, we don't see anything. Your blood looks fine. You're probably just having anxiety. I'm like, no, we need to do some more scans. We need to figure out what's going on. So they did a CT scan, didn't see anything. Then it was, um, I was like, well, refer me to a neuro uh, neurologist. Like, I need some some actual assistance here because this is not me. I'm dizzy. I can't see y'all. I was like, when I'm texting on my phone or reading stuff on Instagram and Facebook, trying to look at the words, all the words started moving. Like, stuff was scary. So, I knew something was going on up here, y'all. I was like, uh-uh. So, finally, went to go see a neurologist. They had me get a CT angiogram. And the MRI. The MRI is what showed the brain bleed. So the MRI showed the brain bleed, and then it was some a subdural collection like found by it. So it's like a puddle of blood that was still lingering around, and all of that kind of stuff. 
And when that puddle of blood sits on your brain, it's pressing on nerves and our brain is very sensitive. So when it's pressing on nerves and stuff like that, it's just gonna mess up a lot of stuff because our brain is an organ that runs all of this. Your brain tell your heart to beat, your brain tell you what to do. That's your, that's your driver right there. So your brain messing up, it's just everything just kind of start going a little haywire. So, and especially depression, y'all, depression, and high anxiety like everybody claimed depression and anxiety but this depression right here the one from a head trauma or a brain bleed they said mine may possibly have come from high blood pressure so make sure y'all control get that under control if you have that because it will cause other stuff a lot of times people are like oh girl please it's just white coat syndrome or i'm gonna just start exercising and girl no just go ahead and get it taken care of so um yeah, they found that and when i started reading it because i was looking through my chart i started reading the diagnosis y'all i thought i was about to i thought that was the big one i was like okay girl this is it because i'm reading it's like six o'clock in the morning i was waiting to get those results too so i was in my bathroom and i just started seeing like literally my eyes like everything just started going in and out like it was like i was closing my eyes like this but i wasn't my eyes was open but everything was just then I started seeing circles and everything when I got the results. So I was scared, I was like, what is, what is this? And I'm just like, okay, I'm telling my man, I'm like, we gotta Google this because I can't wait to talk to the doctors. Then under it, it said, um, something was immediate. Like they had to, I had to set up immediate appointments and all of that. Then like an hour or two later, the uh, doctors called me. They're like, we need to get you in here fast. We need to set up I'm like, oh my God, I got four kids. I ain't ready for the big one. So y'all gotta make light of it because that's just how I do. But again, yeah, so those were my symptoms and like when it first started happening, that was like, well, you know what? I got my results in October, but everything started happening around this time. But October is when the results finally came. So I'm so glad to still be here. I suggest like if you dealt with something like this or if you ever feel like something is off in your body, go get it checked out because we could be on Google, honey, all we want. We can be on chat GPT all we want, but the best thing for you to do, boo, is to go to the doctor. And then you gotta advocate for yourself real strong because they just sent me a CT and said, okay, you good, blood test good. No, y'all dig deeper into this. Something is not right. So listen to your body, if something ain't right, make them send you to a specialist. So like I said, always strongly advocate. I cannot stress that enough, advocate for yourself. Yeah, Google and stuff help, but let Google lead you to where you need to go. Google might scare you and say it's something else. Like, go ahead and go get it checked out then, boo. You're supposed to be a little bit scared, okay? So, yeah, um, so a year later now, I went to the doctor again because I'm, oh, another thing, I was extremely tired and fatigued. I couldn't understand why I was taking all my vitamins, taking all my supplements, doing my juicing. I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get it right. I'm like, I'm going to sleep. What's going on? So a year later, here I am, extremely fatigued again. Um, my vision is like jumpy a little bit. Like I can see, but it's like, if you try to focus on something, it, vision will start vibrating a little bit. Like like it's a vibrating toothbrush just sitting on your eyelid. And you're just like, what, nothing is moving, what's going on? So I still kind of get that. I just kind of try to get used to it. Like girl, it's okay. That's probably a part of your life now. Just be glad to be here. Right now, I'm just super fatigued, and I don't like to be fatigued because I like to have super high energy to keep up with all my kids, and I just like to have energy, y'all. I like, you know, I think people just love to be energized. That's why coffee is so good. People like coffee. People like five-hour energy drinks, but I'm scared to drink a five-hour energy drink, and I'm scared to have all of those big energy drinks that I used to have, like the Monster, because I don't want to deal with that. But yeah, so those are my symptoms. Um, I have to be monitored probably for the rest of my life, which is fine go to the doctor every year anyway but this is just the extra little well, the extra little thing okay so i'm going to continue to have it monitor right now when i had my last scans they said everything looked fine everything so that was good to know and that was reassuring but um yeah y'all so if you ever having like severe depression out of nowhere could be a brain injury okay so just take care of y'all selves and always be up on it i just want to come on here and share because i never really shared that part of my life and i want to share it and let y'all know because things happen okay so i'll come up with part two probably next week so make sure y'all like this video subscribe and i love y'all see y'all later sorry if y'all saw chocolate on my teeth like i said i just had my chocolate love y'all bye